decided that what we need to do because of the position what, that we're what in. What liberal office are you at? We're at Cal Johnson's office in Moose Jaw. You're in Moose Jaw? Yes. We're here actually, um, I'm, Cal and I just spoke and we're both in agreement we need to make a meeting to discuss a coalition between um, the, uh, myself, Cal Johnson and Don Mitchell, the NDP Liberals and Green Party uh, candidates in this riding to um, address the fact that we do not want to see a Harper majority government and we need to cooperate, we need a coalition government and um, we need to pioneer that for Canada. So that's what we're, we are discussing and we're about to set up a meeting time. So. How do you feel about that, Phil? Are you guys are having that meeting right now? We're setting up a meeting, but we just introduced the, um, the idea to Cal. Is Cal Johnson there right now? He sure is. Wow, okay. Who, who uh, initiated this? Um, I did, actually. Uh-huh. But um, it was something I think we all initiated last night on the bus. I think we have to be realistic about where we are. I'm talking about three candidates pre-election. Um, trying to understand conceivably what could happen afterwards. So I, I think keep an open mind, sit down, talk about it, and okay. start to start to flesh out our You're thoughts and feelings. You're open to the idea, though. You're open to it, obviously? Yeah, I'm open to talking about it, absolutely. One down, one to go. How do you feel? Um, good. Um, I would like to come together and cooperate with the um, liberal candidate, Cal Johnston, with Don Mitchell of the NDP, um, with a commitment from them that whoever, whichever one of us gets elected, then that person must agree to re reflect our views and the constituents that come to us with their um, concerns about what's being on in the government. They need to be willing to act on that if they're going to be in a position to change these things. Because as it stands right now, I am being put into the position of um, being a competitor. And I do not believe in competition when it is going to rob Canada of real action on climate change. Larissa Shasko has yeah. managed to get hold of Jim McDonald, the executive director of the Green Party. But she's not encouraged by his reaction to her plans. You know, I really strongly recommend that, uh, that you really not do this. Oh. I hate to say it, but it's, it, it's just too dangerous for us. And we don't want Elizabeth to be caught out on this. Oh, absolutely. be embarrassed by this and, and for it to be used as proof of the fact that the Green Party really, you know, isn't, isn't, isn't a party in the same sense it's willing to make these kinds of deals. And, you know, you're not in the position to negotiate that kind of thing yeah. at that level. Uh, because it, uh, once more... The national guys have laid down these rules, and believe me, the tail doesn't wag the dog. Mitchell at his headquarters kind of in Regina at the NDP's Tommy Douglas House. that Canadians are already saying it's time for to have a government that reflects our views. So I know we're both supporters of proportional representation in our party's platforms, um, and I'd like to see us walk the walk. Um, what I'm thinking of is, I think I'd like um, to have, um, if, if you're in agreement, I'd like to sit down with you and Cal Johnston and discuss um, forming a coalition of in our riding, working together so that um, who is elected is able to bring with them um, a commitment to reflect um, their views and their party's policies views, but also um, to reflect the um, other political parties that have um, entered into this um, in, in Ottawa. Since I think that's what Canada is saying. We need to see our views reflected in Ottawa. We need to have, um, we need to vote for the government that we want to see, but if this means electing a Harper majority government in this riding, we um, are being um, forced to, to vote strategically, and that's what it is doing is um, it's giving us an opportunity to turn something really great out of a situation that is pretty much set in stone for us. Right. Well, there's a couple of things. I'm, I'm not a, an individual free to make my individual choice. I've mandated as a nominated candidate for my party, which I have as a reference group, an executive, that I'm communicating with all the time that works very closely together. I'm also part of a national party, so I can't, my, the limits of my independent decision making are, are kind of tied into my being a representative of the right. party. That's as far as I can commit right. as a candidate. So. so you can't commit as to doing a meeting? Well, a dis discussion, uh, 
you know, I, I can't, I can't form, I can't formalize the meeting on behalf of the party. So you got to talk to Don Mitchell. What do you think of his response? I felt it was disappointing that um, he wasn't willing to even meet about um, theoretically having a coalition um, that would mean cooperation. And also, I found it disappointing that he wasn't willing to take this opportunity as a chance to educate Canadians about proportional representation. What